Hey everybody, Kieran Murray here with Let's Talk About Northwest Wines with the lovely, talented, sexy, gorgeous, keep it clean, smart, <laughs> good cook, Sherry Murray. Sherry Murray. <laughs> we are here doing another video with um, talking about bottom of the bottle. So here's what we do: we pour ourselves a glass, of, two glasses of wine, actually one each, to the top of the bottle. Then on the bottom of the bottle. We talk about a great um, winery that we've had a great experience with, and we don't talk about the wine itself because we're not that good. We can't tell you like what we're picking up or anything like that. We can just tell you if we like it or not. So here's the deal. So today is my birthday. So normally we do these videos maybe once every week, two weeks, just whatever kind of fits the schedule. Tonight we wanted to do multiple videos because we want to get some out there. There's we're like man we've had so many good tastings, we need to catch up because we need to go tell the stories. Now, um, so we we just did a, a great video for Prohibition Cellars. And then to make it look like it was a different place and time and stuff, we went and changed clothes. <laughs> she can't believe I'm telling you this right now. So, um, it takes a lot for me to be at a loss for words. I, you're a dork. So yeah, we're on the same night. It's still my birthday. This, and we might even do more videos. So we're not. So here's the. I don't the, know so that here's I the can deal. have the bottom of the so, bottle even more. No, no, no. So here's the deal. <laughs> we will not do a bottle for every video we make tonight because if we do like six videos, we are going to be just sloshed by the time the videos are done. We'll never be able to make it. So. But it would be. Good entertainment, oh. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I don't know what kind of entertainment it would be, but so we may grab a bottle in a future video here later on this evening and hold it up in the air. Something like this where I hold the top so you can't see if it's open. That's not the case with this bottle. This bottle is actually open. So I'm just telling you right up front because because I felt bad deceiving everybody. Wow. You obviously had no problem. With I it. had no issues. Yeah. <laughs> I had none. I mean, I was I was really okay. I mean So so you can see our backdrop is still the same. We just changed clothes. So next time Next probably, time we might move the table around. We're gonna move else. the table around so it looks bad different and we'll put on different clothes and I mean so it'll it'll look really professional. We okay, are, can we get to the review? We are pretty high tech and pretty Holy professional. Holy crap. So hold on. <laughs> I know. I need a drink just after that. All right, so this video we're talking about, we had an awesome experience up in Woodenville recently. This is cool. We had a really awesome experience at Martiti Winery. Martiti. Martiti. And um, the owner and winemaker's name is jo Joseph Maglino, right? Did yep. I pronounce that right? I hope so. I always want to say like Migliano or something. I know it's not it, but it's Maglino, right? Yep. Yeah, Joseph Maglino. Maglino. M I G L I N O. So just something about Joseph. So number one, he is um, Sicilian. He is a sommelier. I think he's a third level sommelier, um, which when you get to be like the third and fourth levels, there's very, very few of them. I think I looked up um, the fourth level, you know, the master sommelier in the state of Washington. I think there's only like 10 of them. That's what I and, thought he was. And Joseph is third level, if I remember right. Okay. And he was telling us there's only probably about 10 of those in the state. There's gonna I be don't know. He's super smart. Yeah, he knows wine. So... We had a chance to go up. So he's off the beaten path as far as he's not in with all the other wineries, like in the uh, it's not like warehouse district or Hollywood. District, yeah. or, he's off by himself, and he's got a really cool space, and he did that intentionally, um, which was really cool. And so we had a chance to go to one. We got there one day, We got, and we actually went there because he posted – in our group, in the let's talk about North yeah. Line. He posted that he was he was tasting. In fact, I'll I'll read this, and if I butcher it, I'm sorry because again, He's we got, don't know a lot. He about has lines. the high level names. He's got the he Sicilian does. Stuff. So he made a post and said, "Pouring our Amarone style wine, Vinarone this weekend." And I looked at Karen and went, "What the hell is that?" Because we have no clue. I think we should probably try that because we don't know what it is. All we saw was that the end of it said wine, and so it had <laughs> some some very high level names. We thought that must be good stuff. Yeah. So we actually we found out we're up in our wine game. Yeah, that's right. Right. So we um, found the address, and we drove around. We we found it. And we're like, "Is this the right place?" Sure enough, it was. Like I said, he's not in with 
um, in a district or something like the, the warehouse district. And when we got to go in, he had a wonderful uh, tasting room manager, which, do you remember her name? I feel really bad because she was so awesome. She was really cool. But um, so we were the only ones there for a while. And because of that, and we had asked her, she, was, she came out and was giving us all the history on the wines. And it was just phenomenal. I, I absolutely love it when, that's, what I, that's the only thing I like about this COVID thing right now is that it makes for smaller groups at a winery. And a lot of times you get a chance to actually visit with someone at the winery about the wines. It's and, just a far more intimate experience. Yeah, how it's made yeah. and everything. So she was giving us the experience of these wines. And we're like, this is so cool. And of course, she was mentioning Joseph. And I had asked, is Joseph here by chance? She said, yeah, he's in the back. So she went and got him. And he spent two, two and a half hours with us. Yeah. And some other people had come into the tasting, the, the tent outside um, during that time. But and his wife spent, kept coming out, bringing him some hot tea because, I mean, we're outside in the tents and it's cold. And so she's bringing him hot tea. She's bringing him a sandwich. And, oh, my God, these two you, you, are so cute. They are adorable <laughs> together. You, you would tell. think they were newlyweds, seriously. Well, and they've been can, together forever. You can tell that he is well-trained. She well, is, I wasn't going to go there, she, but you know who there. the boss yeah, I'll, is. I'll go there. She is definitely <laughs> the boss, and he'd be the first one to tell you that, too. He'd go, okay. He, she would come out and make him eat something or make him do whatever. He'd Put just, your mask on. He, she just, he'd just go, <laughs> yes, dear. You know, be like, it's so, so funny. I can't, they've been married for, I think, a number of years. Yeah. Um, but they were awesome. I just love that part. So he spent, <laughs> Joseph spent a good solid two hours with him, maybe even longer. But... Um, the cool part was, so he was telling us about his wines, what makes him special. And then he was geeking out with Sherry on what food pairs with the wines. That was where so, you loved it. Yeah. And here's the one thing that I thought was really cool with Joe is, is he doesn't drink wine to drink wine. He drinks wine to pair with food, period, end of story. So he loves to be able to pair his wine with really, really delicious food. And um, I'm a big foodie. So as we're sitting there and we're tasting, I'm like, okay, so yes, this is your Barilla. What would you pair with this? And he's like, well, I would pair this. And I'm like, oh, that sounds really good. Can you send me that recipe? <laughs> so it was it was really fun to, to really sit down and talk about the pairing side of things um, because that's something that is super interesting to me. Absolutely. And he, man, he had a down. So, um, the one, and then he was sharing with us as well that he is married to, it's his father-in-law is Italian mm -hmm. and makes his own wine. And so, um, I was asking, I said, so does your father-in-law like your wine and the wines that his father-in-law makes and the wines he makes are way different. He's, he was telling us about the fact that the Italian wine is just a completely different wine that they, that they make the homemade wine, not like, uh, the wine that you would get at a winery and stuff. But, um, just a fantastic, fantastic experience. And then if I remember right, tell me this if I remember right. So Joseph's big thing was that he didn't make like blends. It was everything yep. was of the single varietal. It was, exactly. right? Yep. And so there was names that I don't even recognize, but everything we had was just insane. It was mm -hmm. so good. And then just the fact that he was telling us what each one would pair with and just geeking out over wine. It was just, it was just unbelievable. Now... The one thing I like, so I went inside while Sherry was still visiting. So I went inside to purchase wine, get our stuff, and so we're getting ready to leave. And I picked up a couple of bottles, but there was, I think he, I don't know if he was telling me about a wine or if I just saw it when I got in. I think he was, he was, he was telling us about it, right? Yeah, because it was one of, it was one of the <clears throat> special wines. Yeah. The so, special, they, they, there's, there's a process on some of their wines that's not the normal process. So like this post that he made about the Amaron style, um, when he poured that for us, um, and again, we don't know a lot about wines. We're still learning very much in our infancy. We've said that a lot. Um, and I took a sip of it and I looked at Karen because it was something that was so different. I was like, this tastes almost like a port. And as soon as I said it, Joseph said, yes, exactly. It's the way we make the wine because they dry the fruits like for first. a month, isn't it? They dry the grape I, for I a month. Yeah, I can't remember how long. They put it them was. on a rack that's like yeah. a um, was like it a, a bread, rack. like a baker's rack? Yeah, the grapes on the baker's rack and let them dry for a month, 
and then start the process. It was crazy. It was fabulous, but I don't I don't typically enjoy ports that much. But when I went and I drank this, I was like, oh my god, that is fabulous. We definitely need to take some of that home. Yep. Well, as we were talking about these different um, styles of making wine, um, one of the wines that he makes, Kieran will now tell you about. Yeah, so he had so he was talking about one of the wines, which the only thing I picked up on, I mean, he was he had so much information about each bottle of wine, there's no way I could remember everything about it. But he talked about one of the wines where he featured a picture of his grandfather. Yep. So when I went in, inside to pick up uh, the wines that Sherry wanted, I let her pick on those. And I was walking around and I happened to see the bottle with the grandfather. So Super cool label. So here's the deal. I'm, I'm a sucker for really cool labels. So I love cool labels. And I've bought wines that just had really cool labels. And sometimes I don't even drink them just because I want to have cool labels around. Um, but if I drink them, I just... I you know, cross my fingers, that's a good wine. We hadn't even tasted that wine. So when we, when I saw that particular bottle, we had not even tasted that wine. Mm -hmm. But I was like, you know what? Um, uh, I really miss my grandfather. Oh, I could get emotional about this one. So when I see a guy who puts his grandfather on the label, I'm like, I gotta buy that. Because if I didn't, if I walk out here and didn't buy it, I would be, it would be a huge regret forever. I'd be always going, why didn't I buy that bottle with, with Joseph's? grandfather on the label right so um this is our second bottle for the night on my birthday night I, i'm turning 54 tonight and um so this is joseph's um grandfather it's called vin arresto, vin arresto. and on the back I, do you have your glasses we're all over there okay i'm gonna try to read this 2014 vin arresto from yakima valley this 100 percent aglianico I hope I said that right, is a tribute to my grandfather, Oresto. He came to this country in 1906 from the Campania region of Italy for a better life for his family. We are grateful to our ancestors for the opportunities we have today. That's just so cool, right? So, um, and I'm having that now. Sherry's not to it yet, but I'm drinking it now. And I can tell you that- I want to taste it. That grandfather's wine it's kick ass. It's a really good wine. Oh, it smells good. It's really good. It's it's that same smell as as the other one. It's really good. Oh, sh Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that is fantastic. So here's the deal. I mean, if someone puts their grandfather in a label, you should just send me a message because I'm coming to your place to buy a bottle of the wine, if not more. Um, oh, wow. It's that just going to happen. Really good. There's other reasons that I would come to your place to buy a bottle of wine without tasting it all, but that is definitely one of them. <laughs> um, I'm, a, uh, I'm a sucker for anything having to do with grandfathers because mine was phenomenal. So um, tonight we're drinking um, a, a toast and for my birthday. Um, Joseph, uh, this is for my grandfather and this is for your grandfather. And we had an awesome time at your winery. We can't wait to come back again. And if you're watching this video, you haven't been to Martini Winery in Winville. We highly, highly, highly encourage you yeah, so. to make your reservations. Go see them. If you don't, if you don't have reservations, stop by anyway just to see if you can get in. They've actually got a pretty good sized tent out there where they can fit some people in the parking lot. They've got a, a pretty good sized space. And when the COVID is done, they've got a great indoor space that you guys are going to love. They're talking about being able to to host bands and stuff and do some cool stuff. So um, go see Joseph. Tell him we sent you. Um, one of the big things is it's just it's different from the other stuff that you're gonna get you know when you go in you're gonna um, to to most of the wineries here in Washington you're gonna get your big bold reds your cab sauvs your cab francs um, you know you're gonna get your Syrahs you're gonna have all of that stuff that's kind of the normal stuff this is something that's just really special um, and it's not something that you know in our searches here locally that we've found anything like it so mm -hmm. definitely go check it out um i think you'll really enjoy it when you get a chance just go up ask for joseph he's there if he's there he probably will be because he's always there working and just say joseph kieran said i was supposed to come and get a bottle of your grandfather's wine <laughs> and you know it doesn't even matter if they're doing a tasting for it if, if you leave there without a bottle of grandfather's wine uh shame on you that should never ever happen 
like I said, if a guy puts his grandfather in a bottle of wine and you don't buy it, ooh, that's just that's that's bad karma. That's bad juju. So, <laughs> Joseph, we love your grandfather. I love my grandfather. Thanks for being here, and we're looking forward to seeing you again. Cheers. Cheers, Dave. Love you guys. Have a great night.